Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. I have to talk on a topic that I'm sort of passionate about um, for two reasons. One, I'm a discoverer, and a discoverer has gifts of the Lord that can be led to a place, to a time, to a space, to find something for my own personal use or for the gifting to other people so that it doesn't end up in abuse. What I'm talking about today is very different than most people think about because most people have no God and most people have no concept of the angels and the Holy Ghost that runs around their life and literally runs not interference for their life but has to make up for the stupidity that people do in life. What I'm also talking about today is the, the abuse of technology by people who are liars, cheaters, and thieves of other people's lives. Those people are people who do cybercrime, identity theft, and commit fraud on other people's lives. Fraud is stealing a cell phone that is not yours and belongs to me or someone else. Fraud is the belief in yourself that you are never going to be caught. Fraud and lying to yourself is something that is very clear that you're doing to me and other people because you're believing that you have rights to take away from me to provide to your own life some sort of difference, some sort of game time, some sort of play time, or some sort of abuse of me or someone else. I, of course, use me as an example so you'll think about you. But the reality is what you're not thinking about with regard to your technology that you've either stolen or, or acquired or done something with when duplicating is that there is a camera on that cell phone. There is a technological number within that cell phone so that when that person sees them, when law enforcement, when military in particular who run our satellite networks, see that number flashing on the screen that they have been notified through various social networks or technological networks that has been stolen from a man like me, they are very much able to see through your cell phone camera who you are and that you are not the actual cell phone owner. They can actually tell that. Now it's true, there are people who are marvelous who gift away their old cell phones, but usually they gift them wiped clean. Usually when I find a cell phone or computer in a trash can, it is totally not completely fully clean, but it is pretty close to being clean. And what I do as an ethical person, since it is obvious by what I see it thrown away with that it has been officially thrown away and not something that someone did a prank on someone, that they literally got a new phone and just decided to throw it away, or they're a person who is of an international citizenship and they cannot take that cell phone back home to their country because it won't motherfucking work, that openly I have a right to it. Now I'm not being a jerk, but what I'm telling you is that it's clear. What I do is I clean it off, I reboot it, I restart it, and I take it over. But liars of a community will put their hands in someone's pockets, put their photographs on phones and things that don't belong to them, even if it's your phone originally. And what I know is that when I lived in Ohio for a short time, when I still had my business vehicle and my favorite business vehicle, my Toyota RAV4, which was a great and served as a great moving camper for a single guy like me, that openly someone in a metaphysical store stole, stole, totally stole my Sprint-related telephone and literally took it from me. There was a lot of content on that phone. There was a lot of photographs of my family on that phone. There was actually contracts of how to produce a student chip on that phone, and I'm pissed off that it's gone. But I've also had a Samsung stolen from me outside the campus pantry, which I believe was taken by one of the owners or one of the bastard boys that worked there from me. And I can just say that because who else knew me? Who else gave me a Cheshire grin like I'm going to do something to you? Or could it have been some foreign student thinking they were funny walking through the, the, the little space that I fell asleep in with my uh, technology-induced narcolepsy because they were playing a signal on my life? And openly that use and abuse of technology God is so fucking angry about that he's killing everyone, and I mean everyone, who's been playing in those shadow worlds with COVID.